In this video, I'm going to show you how to install Windows 11 on unsupported PCs. So, let's get started. So here, as you can see, I'm running a Windows 10 Pro version Windows right here, as you can see. My version is 21H1. And now here, as you can see, my device specification is an Intel Core Dual, so dual core computer, CPU, and it has 4 GB RAM. And if I go to PC Health Checkup here, as you can see, it says this PC doesn't currently meet this Windows 11 system requirements because my PC doesn't have secure boot and it doesn't have TPM 2.0 and my processor doesn't support to the Windows 11 required one. So now here, as you can see, this PC is not supported for installing Windows 11. So now I'm going to show you how to install Windows 11 by bypassing all of these system requirements. So first thing you want to do is head on over to the link in the description that will take you to this website right here that is download Windows 10. So now here as you can see we don't have any option to download the Windows 10 ISO. So now we're going to be changing the network condition so that it looks like as if you're visiting this website on another Windows or another operating system. So all you got to do is hit, hit F12 on your keyboard. And it'll open up the developer tools on your browser. Now here, just click on the three dots on the top right corner. And then hover over more tools. And in the left side, select network conditions. But after that, just scroll down here. And then uncheck the box that says use browser default. And then here, just click on the drop down menu. And then select set it to Chrome dash OS. Chrome dash Chrome OS. Make sure it's not in Windows, make sure it's in Chrome OS or something like that. It should be Chrome OS. Select that and then all you gotta do is click on the reload button in the top left corner. Now here, as soon as you reload, as you can see, the website has changed. As you can see, the website has changed. Now it says Windows 10 ISO file. So now this website is thinking like as if we're visiting this website on a Chrome OS operating system. Just scroll down. And then here, all you got to do is you have to select this um, drop down menu right here and then select Windows 10. And then here, just click on confirm. And then you just have to wait and then click on the drop down menu once again and then select a language and make sure you remember what the, what's the language you selected. If you selected English, make sure you remember that you selected English. If you chose English International, then make sure you remember that you selected that because we'll be needing that when we're installing Windows 11. I'm going to select English. Just click on confirm and right after that you just have to you just have to wait and here make sure you select 64-bit operating system and also make sure you're running a 64-bit operating system because if you're running a 32-bit operating system you won't be able to install windows 11 this is all this method only works on 64-bit operating systems now here mine is a 64-bit operating system so i'm going to select this one and then you just have to wait you know as you can see it's right now downloading in the top right corner now, while the Windows 10 ISO is downloading, we're going to be downloading the Windows 11 ISO. Now, all you got to do is here, you have to just select this link on the top right, in the top side right here, the address bar. Just cut out the 10 ISO and then change it to 11. And then just hit enter. And then it'll open up another page that is download Windows 11. Now, here, you don't need to change the network conditions to Chrome OS. Because by default, it'll automatically open up the ISO without you changing anything. Here, all you gotta do is scroll down and then click on the drop down menu and then select Windows 11. And then just click on download. And then you'll scroll, and then here you will find the select the product language. Now, like I said earlier, if you had selected English, you have to select English here as well. If you selected English International, you have to select English International here as well. Or if you selected any other language like Chinese, you should make sure what kind of Chinese you selected. I selected English, so I'm gonna select English right here as well. And then just click on confirm and then here you have to select 64-bit download and here as you can see we don't have an option for 32-bit so i'm going to download the 64-bit operating system windows 11 iso and here as you can see it's downloading the windows 10 iso and the windows 11 iso you just have to wait for it to completely install both of them and now once both of the iso of windows 11 and windows 10 has installed all you gotta do is close down the browser and then open up file explorer and then open up the downloads folder and then here you'll find both of the iso right here now place the file explorer on one side and then right click on your desktop and then hover over new 
and then select folder. Now here just name it to anything you want. I'm gonna name it to Windows 11. Now once you're done, just hit enter. And then just open up the folder or just keep it like that. And then first of all, we're gonna be mounting the ISO of Windows 10 by double clicking on it. And then it'll create a virtual CD or DVD drive. And all you gotta do as soon as you open it up here, as you can see it's showing DVD drive and it's showing F colon in my case. All you gotta do is so drag all of this by using a mouse, just drag and select all of this or hit Ctrl A on your keyboard and then just and then all you gotta do is just drag it and then drop it onto the Windows 11 folder we just created. It might take a few minutes, you just have to wait. Now once the copying has done, just open up this, this PC right here, just open up this PC and then here you'll find this a virtual drive right here just right click on it and then just click on eject as soon as you've done that just close this file explorer right here and then open up the folder you just created and the place where you pasted all the contents of the windows 10 iso here just open up the sources folder and then this is the place where we're going to be replacing and in the installation main file from the windows 11 iso and then we're going to be pasting it onto this windows 10 iso all you gotta do is open up the downloads folder once again and then this time open up the windows 11 iso click on sources and then scroll down until you find install.wim here as you can see i found the installer right here install.wim just right click on it and then just click on copy and then just close the window and then open up the windows 11 installation right here and then the sources folder of the Windows Love installation folder you just created and then just right click and then click on paste and here we're gonna override the file we're gonna be replacing the Windows 10 installer with the Windows 11 one just click on replace the file in the destination and just have to wait for it to completely paste that 4GB file now right after it's done pasting the installer from Windows 11 onto the folder we created just go back to this PC and just right click on the drive and then just click on eject. Now once you're done with that, just close the window. Now as soon as you're done with that, just open up the folder you created. And then just double click on this icon that is set up. Just open up the setup. Just double click on that. And then here with the user account control, just click on yes. Now here you just have to wait for it to show to prepare the whole installer. Now here you can, as you can see, it's saying Windows, install Windows 10, but don't worry guys, it will install Windows 11. Now here, you just have to uncheck this box right here. And then here, just click on this thing that says change how Windows setup downloads updates. Just click on that and then just click on not right now. And then just click on next. And you just have to wait for it to check your PC. Now here, just accept for the license terms. By clicking on accept and then here you can see that it's showing making sure you're ready to install you just have to wait and now once it's done doing that now here as you can see it's saying ready to install so in the top as you can see it's saying windows 10 setup but here as you can see it's showing we install windows 11 pro now as you can see your personal files and apps are being saved so it's not a fresh start it's just updating the operating system it's just reinstalling another Windows operating system that is windows 11 pro all you gotta do you can even click on this change what to keep if you don't want your personal files to be there if you want your personal files to be there if you want your personal files and apps to be saved or you don't want anything to be saved i'm gonna keep i'm gonna toggle this on i'm gonna check that and i'm gonna click on next and now here as you can see it's showing up making sure you're ready to install and then in a few minutes you'll start installing windows 11. Now here are the final pages that are ready to install. So as you can see, it's saying you won't be able to use your PC while Windows install, while Windows is installing. So make sure you've closed everything and saved everything, any unsaved work that is there open on your computer. I'm just gonna turn off the screen recording because I will lose the whole screen recording. I'm gonna switch back to my phone's um, phone's video recording. So let me just go back here and turn this off. Now here, as you can see, you just click on install. Now the final thing you want to do is close all the windows on your computer and save any unsaved work and then just click on install. 
now here as you can see it's showing up here installing windows 10 but don't worry guys it won't be installing windows 10 it'll be into installing windows 11 because it's showing right here windows 10 because the files we replaced the installer is only windows 11 all the other design and the ui are all windows 10 only the installer that is with that is the one we replaced is windows 11. here as you can see i'm recording on my phone we we'll just have to wait for it to completely install windows 11. So now here as you can see we've got the windows 11 logo right here so now that means that we haven't installed windows 10 like it showed right there in the earlier installer we've actually installed windows 11 but the thing is that it didn't show in the installer so now here as you can see there's nothing to get scared of because it's not it has not installed windows 10 it has actually installed windows 11. you just have to wait for it to completely start up and now here as you can see it's right now showing this page that says working on updates you just have to wait for it to completely work on the update and then as soon as the update is completed it'll it'll start booting up windows 11 and then you will start you will be able to use windows 11. so now here as you can see it's right now showing up this page right here that says starting services here as you can see we've got the windows 11 lock screen we've got the windows 11 background and then we've got this welcome sign right here now here as you can see we've got the cortana thingy right here hi getting things ready for you this is, the, this is just the basic cortana thingy that comes always on all kinds of installations that is on windows 10 as well so here we've got the same thing in windows 11 as well but the difference is that we've got a windows 11 background so now here as you can see it's showing this might take a few minutes and we've got that cool background animation right there which is pretty cool now here we just have to wait and now here as you can see we've successfully installed windows 11 and now here as you can see our computer has booted up onto windows 11 now if you open up my star menu as you can see we've got the cool animation on our taskbar as well if i click on the search i can here as you can see we've got this cool gradient color effect we've got the task view button as well which looks pretty cool we've got um pretty cool animations on the taskbar like i said if i open this up as you can see we've got that ease in and out of the size of that icon if i minimize as you can see it's bouncing it's going down and then coming back up we've got a lot of cool animations and here as you can see we've got the curved corners right here we even got this cool blurry effect right here when i just move it to the left and to the right when i'm trying to multitask as you can see we've got this really cool animations here if I, hover, if, if I keep my mouse over this maximize button here as you can see we've got the option to multitask the way you want we can snap our apps and yeah we've pretty much installed windows 11 on our computer so now here as you can see i'm running so here as you can see we've got the settings window right here let me just type in about and let's see the version of windows we're running right now and now here as you can see we're running windows 11 pro and it's the 21h2 version and it's been installed on it's and it's been installed today so here as you can see we've got windows 11 right here we've got my device specification right here and here as you can see it's a pretty low end pc but still we managed to install windows 11 by bypassing the system checkup so here as you can see we've successfully installed windows 11. if you find this video helpful make sure to give this video a like and share with your friends and if you have any questions you can put them down in the comment section below and please hit the subscribe button to support me till then see you later thanks for watching and i'll catch you in the next one